okay let us discuss problem 1.270 so this is something related to finding angle so let me read the question so this says a conical pendulum a thinly formed rod of length l and mass m rotates uniformly about a vertical axis with angular velocity omega the upper end of rod is hinged okay so this is the vertical axis you have and there is a rod and the length of this rod is l and the mass of this rod is m and let us say this makes an angle theta with the vertical and this rod is hinged at point upper point let us call this point as a this point is b so basically rod a so rod is hinged is hinged at point a are you getting this means there is free rotation about a so there is no torque that is acting there is no moment that is acting about a so i can say torque about a is zero because this is a hinge and hinge has a property that it cannot apply any torque so torque about a is zero that is the free rotation about a is permissible so free rotation about a getting now let me see read the question more so thin uniform rod length l and mass m rotates uniformly with angular velocity omega find the theta between rod and the vertical so this rod is basically rotating with angular velocity omega about this vertical axis we have to find theta so what is the theta find theta Now, if you see any point of rod, let us say even consider this point. This point is moving in a circle. So this will be the circle in which this point is moving. If we consider any point of circle, it is moving in the uh, uh, any point on the rod, it is moving in the circle. Now, why this rod is in equilibrium? So if you see this rod is in equilibrium, making an theta. why this angle is inclined why this rod is inclined because you see there are two forces that is acting at the center of mass you will have a force that is mg that will act and now if you consider any part there is a pseudo force that is acting also not or you can say centrifugal force this rod on this rod at any point there is a centrifugal force that is acting in this direction because any point so this is moving in this circle let us say this length is x so if i consider the dx part i can make another diagram you can use the same diagram if you wish let us consider at length x a small part of the rod that is dx so this part of the rod i am considering there is a force that will act so this part is moving in this circle so if this length is x this is theta now you know what will be this length this is x sin theta this is x cos theta this is x sin theta so radius of the circle is x sin theta are you getting now you will have a centrifugal force that will act up outward m omega square x mass of this is so let us say m is the total mass so mass per unit length is m by l into dx that is the mass of this small part into omega square into x x is a radius basically you can say this is the radius m omega square r you can write if you have any confusion so this is m omega square r and r is x sin theta so this is the centrifugal force that is acting now what i am going to make is 
this rod is in equilibrium about this point so what I will do is there is a two torque one torque that is mg so mg tries to rotate this rod this side and centrifugal force try to rotate rod this side so what will happen equilibrium will be reached and torque due to mg should be equals to torque due to centrifugal force so what is my target is to find torque due to centrifugal force first so now I am interested in finding torque due to centrifugal force about A are you getting now see this is the centrifugal force I have already calculated so centrifugal force is m by l d x omega square x sin theta this is the centrifugal force and this is the force and this is the distance perpendicular distance that is x sin theta so torque will be force into this distance is x cos theta sorry f into x cos theta and this is the value of f a small force you can say are you getting so a small moment that is let us say d tau this will be equal to m by l into dx into omega square x sin theta and then I have to multiply by x cos theta so this is the small moment that is acting on the rod due to point A so I can also write d tau is m by l omega square this is x here x here so we will have x square sin theta cos theta I will have and then into dx so I can write m omega square let us put 2l and multiply by 2 on the top so you will have 2 sin theta cos theta that is sin 2 theta into x square dx I have to integrate 0 to l so I will have m omega square by 2l sin 2 theta x q by 3 that is l q by 3 so this is the torque of centrifugal force now I have to find torque about A so this is the torque about due to centrifugal force this is the total integration so if I do this side integration so this is a, a small torque will be total torque now torque due to bit so let us find torque due to bit torque due to mz so what will be this torque I think all of you can find this torque this is easy so let us find this torque until now those who have not written copy this one So you see torque due to mg, mg will act in the middle that this distance will be L by 2. Are you getting or not? So if this distance is L by 2, I have to find this distance because mg into this distance will give you torque this side. So mg into this distance, so this distance is L by 2, this distance will be L by 2 sin theta. So torque will be mg into L by 2 sin theta. Now these two torque has to be equal. So this torque, one torque is clockwise, another torque is anticlockwise. So at equilibrium, these two torque has to be equal. So if I equate these two torque, mz into L by 2 sin theta, this is equal to m omega square by 2L let us put sin 2 theta is sin theta cos theta so 2 goes out so I can write because I can able to cancel this one sin theta cos theta I have written sin 2 theta is sin theta cos theta into 2 2 I have, man, uh, I have cancelled the 2 L Q by 3 so you see sin theta goes out M goes out you will have 1 L and 1 L so you will have 2 L that is goes out so this side L L so we will have simply 1L this side are you getting or not so what you will have 
you will have 3 by 2 is equals to so let me write so you just copy this one you can solve for yourself so it will come out to be cos theta is equals if you solve this line finally it will come cos theta is equals to 3g divided by 2 omega square l are you getting or not let us try to find this value that is cos theta will come out to be 3g by 2 omega square l so you see it is the same thing 3 by 2 and l l goes so you will have only one l this side so l will come downside and omega square will also come downside so you will have 3z by 2 omega square l so this is the equilibrium angle so theta will be given or cos theta will be given by this so in equilibrium this rod will make an angle cos theta that is equal to 3g by 2 omega square l with the vertical are you getting so you see this problem covers the concept of a torque of pseudo force now you see centripetal force that is basically pseudo force m omega square x I am taking torque of this pseudo force torque of this pseudo force has to be equal to torque of mz because this pseudo force is acting away from it try to increase the angle but mz try to decrease the angle and that's why there is a equilibrium that's why there is a theta for that theta the both torque is equal initially if you increase the omega centrifugal force will increase because m omega square x centrifugal force will increase m omega square x so centrifugal torque will increase so if you increase omega the theta will increase you can see from here itself the last result you see cos theta is 3 so if you increase omega this value will decrease so cos theta will decrease this means theta has to increase because cos theta is a decreasing function one can also see if you increase L this cos theta decreases this means theta increases so if you have a larger rod you will achieve equilibrium at larger theta that is obvious because in that case moment of the pseudo force moment of the centrifugal force will increase now we'll discuss the next problem I think all of you have copied this one this is a pretty easy problem but good problem let us go for the next problem